Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park in the past two weeks. 20 earthquakes were detected Sunday that were higher than a 1.0 on the Richter scale. Most of the earthquakes cannot be detected by visitors of the park since the majority are very weak. Officials say that the rise in earthquakes are due to the multiple faults beneath the surface associated with the volcano. Seismologists that say that the rise and earthquake numbers are normal and don't indicate that the supervolcano will erupt anytime soon. I would, I would say this is not something to worry about, that this is uh, part of the normal process uh, that goes on in and around Yellowstone. Um, it appears to be um, uh, the way that uh, stress gets relieved uh, as part of that uh, volcano tectonic system. Seismologists say that the plate beneath Yellowstone has been moving very slowly over the past millions of years, displacing much of its volcanic features. This has caused a few very strong earthquakes and eruptions that often occur several years apart from each other. However, large earthquakes are far more uncommon. In 1975, there was a magnitude 6 earthquake that occurred in the park and that was widely felt. Uh, didn't cause a lot of damage because it was in a remote area. but. Um, any one of those things, a larger earthquake, a steam eruption, are much more likely to occur than a cataclysmic eruption. Now the park says it has emergency plans in place for any natural event from large earthquakes and small eruptions to a supervolcano event.